Hello and welcome to Motors for the Masses and today I want to talk to you about something that I've been wanting to get for a while and I finally have it. So let's roll the intro and get cracking. So what have I been after for a while? Well, as you know, myself and Malcolm went to Wales to do some enduro riding with Mick Extance in the Welsh mountains. We got wet, we got muddy, but we had a massive amount of fun. And since then, I thought I need enduro in my life. So I joined the TRF. I'm in the Norfolk and Suffolk TRF. And then I went for a hunt and I found what I was looking for. So I had options and one of the options I was going to go for was a WR250L. I looked at it, I did some research and although the WRs are a nice bike, some people were reporting that they're not as good as some of the others. I looked at a CRF as well, Honda CRF, and again they asked for decent money and the cheaper ones were the two-stroke and I specifically wanted four-stroke, not a two-stroke. So I thought maybe I'll bite the bullet and get a brand new Fantic 250 trail bike. Again, you pay some money for it, but it's brand new. And then the other side of that, I thought, well, brand new bikes are gonna come with teething problems. <sighs> what do I do? And then I came across this bike. So let me introduce you to what I've got. It's this. What is it? It's a KTM EXCF. 250. Now, the reason why I went for a KTM is because it's KTM. I mean, these have been doing this style of riding off-road and enduro for a very long time, and they're very good at it. And I don't think I can go far wrong with it. Now, I didn't pay a lot of money for this. Um, it does need a little bit of fettling. It has started, and it does run. At the moment, it won't start because it needs a new battery. So, for example, that. Um, sounds like I just farted. Um, and um, it also needs the carb strip because the fuel has been in there for about two years. Um, when I pick the bike up, it does run and uh, I put the battery booster on it and it does start and run. So I'm happy with that. There's no knocks, noises from the engine. Very happy with the way it runs. However, it does need a carb clean. It does need fresh fuel. It needs a new battery and a headlight unit because it's got a crack in it. But there you go. It's only done 68 hours. Not a lot at all. And I'm very happy with what I've got. Of course, I'll make it mine because I shall just change my number to 22, of course, because that's my number. Um, but yes, I'm very happy indeed. Don't mind that. Someone just fell over, probably. Hopefully they didn't die. Um, what it has got as well is a gel seat. And that is something I'm very pleased about because when you're doing enduro riding, you get a bit of uh, knocking and bumping on the old posterior. Um, it's road registered, it's ready to go, and I'm very happy with the purchase. Have I said that already? I think I have. The bike has been fitted with a new shock and spring, and it's got new tyres on it, and they're Michelin AC10s, I believe. Michelin Cross AC10s, yes. Very good off-road tyre. Certainly should get me through the mud quite nicely. And new discs and pads as well. Why did I go for a 250? Well, I'm new to enduro. I don't really know what I'm doing. I can ride because I've been riding for a long time. Um, big bikes, road bikes, all sorts of different bikes, not a problem. I've done a bit of off-road, a bit of enduro, but it's only recently and it's very amateur. So as far as I'm concerned, a 250 is plenty adequate enough for me. I didn't want a two-stroke because I don't want to mess around with the, um, the oil and petrol mix um, and I didn't want the expansion chamber um, I didn't want the the noise mostly I can't stand the noise of a two-stroke 
Some people love it. I, for me, bing, ding, 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 crazy frog, doesn't do it for me at all. I much prefer a, a raspier, wow sound to the exhaust. So there you go. Um, I was offered a 450 KTM, but um, from talking to people on the TRF forum, and I have to say, they have been a great help, lovely bunch of people, and I can't wait to meet some of them and get out on the trails. Um, but yeah, the 450 was just a bit too powerful and I just don't need it. So here it is, the KTM EXC F250. <laughs> Very happy with it. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you do enduro? What bike do you do it on? Do you enjoy enduro? What got you into it? And what bike do you have? I've already mentioned that. I'm excited. Can I tell? Can you tell? See what I mean? I can't even talk now. I feel like a kid at Christmas. Let me introduce you to my helmet. Not that one. Now, you may or may not know that uh, this is now bike number 12 in my fleet. <laughs> and this is helmet number 17. Yes, I like helmets. So I don't have an enduro style helmet. So I thought I'd treat myself. And what have I gone for? Well, it is an HJC C80 flip helmet. I love the design of this. I love the feel of it, it's very comfortable. Now this is an XL. Now I'm an XL in my Lightning McQueen helmet, which is an HJC RPHA 11. Um, and I'm a large in my HJC Balion flip helmet, but that's the carbon fiber one for the road. This, I like the idea of a flip because then you can just flip it up and have a conversation. Um, it's still got the sun visor if you want that or if you need that. And it's got the peak as well and the pin lock. You can't beat a bit of pin lock, especially when you're out in the winter. So there you go. What do you think of that? Um, 200 and something pounds is what they are. Um, but yeah, a very nice helmet indeed. I know, I know it doesn't match the bike. Bit of a dilemma for me because I do like matching things, which is why I have 11 bikes and 17 helmets and six jackets and five pairs of boots and all that kind of nonsense. But there you go, I like the helmet and I don't mind the colour. So what do you think of that? Let me know in the comment section below. What helmets do you use on your bikes? What equipment do you use? Do you have a specific enduro style jacket? I'd be keen to know what you've got equipment wise because at the moment I don't have a jacket that's enduro specific. I don't have trousers and I don't have boots that are enduro specific. So. Which gear do you have? And please let me know what you recommend. And that is all I have time for for this episode. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll be back next time with another new bike. We've got some more new stuff coming. And uh, we're going to do an update on Bob as well. And we're going to do another update on um, the Peugeot 207 THP175 track car. So stay tuned for that as well. And I look forward to seeing you out on the trails and showing you whether I fall off or not, because I'm sure I'm going to. So until next time, please ride and drive carefully, but have fun. Bye-bye.